Welcome to Data 601. I'm your instructor, Ben Payne. I'll be walking through a few of the things that I wanted to convey before class starts so that you know uh, and then you're prepared for class. So the first thing I'm going to show you is in Blackboard the uh, course materials. Uh, there's the copyright information and the syllabus. The syllabus link takes you to a Word document online that describes all the details and logistics of the class. So once you've read the syllabus, the next thing I'd recommend taking a look at is the assignments. In the assignments, there's a note on academic integrity, just to just start off the sort of tone of the uh, class, what I'm expecting. And then there are three surveys listed. The first survey is on my use of recording during lecture. I'll be taking a screen capture of what I'm projecting on the screen, and then you'll be able to download that after class. The second survey is your use of this internet for posting software that you've written. And the third survey is helping me understand how familiar you are with computers and programming. After those three surveys, the fourth content there is the quiz on the syllabus. So there I'm going to test your knowledge of what content was in the syllabus that you've read for the course. And then if you have any questions, you can feel free to either email me or ask in class when we meet for the first time on Wednesday. So a note on one of the things that you'll see in the syllabus is that I really much uh, value interaction, interaction with students. Uh, I've observed that students get a lot of value both from interacting with me, but also with other students. So it comes in the form of conversations and activities, and that really enriches the experience of everyone. So I want to encourage you to uh, Feel comfortable asking questions and, and seeking advice. That's what the course is for. The other thing that you'll observe in the syllabus is that the grading method is a little bit different than what you might be used to. In, this, in the grading that I'm using for this class, 30% of your grade is for the assignments, homeworks, quizzes, um, essays. 20% for each project, and then 10% for attendance and participation. So like I said, the attendance and participation is very important. That's where a lot of the value is delivered. And the assignments and quizzes, that's the part that's a little bit different than you might be used to. So from my view as the instructor, I have a choice to make. I can either assign a few assignments over the course of the semester, which doesn't allow very much feedback, or I could provide a bunch of assignments to the students and that enables you, um, the student, to get more feedback from me. So I like providing a lot of feedback um, that helps me understand where you are at as a student and helps you make progress. So I've opted for the, the second choice here of providing lots of assignments and essays and quizzes. The consequence is each assignment and quiz, the score of that uh, contributes only a little fraction towards your overall course grade. So if we had 30 assignments over the semester, each assignment would be worth 1% of your course grade. So in some sense, that means each assignment would be of very little value overall. So the consequence that I've observed in previous semesters is that Students with uh, a reasonably good grade towards the end of the semester don't see a lot of value of completing the assignments at the end because they already know that they have a good grade for the course and they don't need to worry about the little assignments. So the way that I deal with that is that I randomly select a few assignments from the course that would contribute towards your overall course grade. So for instance, if there were 30 assignments during the semester and I randomly select 10 of them, then 
each of those assignments is now worth 3% of your overall course grade. So that means there's m more incentive for you to actually do each assignment because they are worth a significant portion of your grade. Uh, if that's sort of uh, unreasonable, you can certainly uh, let me know. If you have questions, let me know. But the idea here is to motivate everyone that each assignment really is important because you don't know which ones will actually count towards your course grade. The random selection is the same across all students, so I'm not going to be sort of tweaking the random selection in favor or against anyone. I'm just randomly selecting assignments from the semester, and then that will contribute towards your final course grade, and each assignment will be worth more of the grade because there are a few assignments. Again, I look forward to seeing you on a Wednesday for our first session, and I look forward to interacting with you.